Ewa Blues got started uh, with 89 people um, travelling watching Rovers and going with the All The Way Travel Club. Uh, when they won the Premiership in 1995, we were invited over to Bamber Bridge uh, for a celebration party winning the Premier League. And uh, we thought, so, well, we can start doing things like this ourselves, running courses to matches and getting involved and do, doing his own, his own thing, like right? not being told by the club what you can do and what you can't can't do, like, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong with that, I mean, we're, we didn't, like, go the, the bad way ab about things. We're a, f a family oriented organisation and uh, we know everybody. And, and we do invite outsiders in, in, into our club, like, you know. Um, we had problems at first with Blackburn Rovers because uh, they didn't want to recognise us because we were uh, a breakaway group. But the relationships that we have now are at 100%. Um, we've got a good understanding with uh, John Williams. We get a quarter tickets when we want them. And uh, virtually, we're allowed to do what we want. And like I say, it started in 1995, the beginning of Evil Blues, and it's, it's still running strong to this day from uh, the Aqueduct Pub. I organised um, the Evil Blues in 1995 along with uh, a lad called uh, Mark Hartley and uh, Jeff Sweet who recently died as Jeff. Um, there was about 10 committee people when we first started up, but I'm afraid they've all uh, fallen by the wayside. And then now it's me and uh, a couple of people on the court help, help me out now and again. I've been to Europe, been to Denmark, Sweden, Norway. I've been to Russia. I even travelled to uh, DC United in Washington for 10 days for a pre-season friendly. Me and my wife, I come home, home from work, got the time off work, told her I booked the flight to America, get some time off work because we're going day after. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know I mean, I just love it. If, if I had to stop going, or if Evil Blues had to stop stop running, uh, I don't know what I'd do in my time because it takes most of my life up. Oh, I've got, I have loads of memorabilia at uh, my house on, on the Croft, um, players shirts, football boots, b match balls, uh, videos, programmes going back to 1901. Uh, my pri one of my prior possessions is uh, 1928 Cup Final programme and uh, the actual uh, Cup Final ticket which was a shilling and um, Ozzy Campbell's autograph. He was one of the players who played that day. Yeah, um, I go in the Aqueduct pub. Um, I'm in there every match day. I'm in there till gone past 12 o'clock at night, so <laughs> I get into a week with a wife, like, but um, we have a special room. He's all decked out with Blackman Row of memorabilia. And I just uh, can't turn myself away from it while I'm in, because there's so much memories with the, with the pictures that's on the wall, the team photographs. There's so, much, there's so many memories there, you know, I can sit there on my own all night and just reminisce and uh, not speak to anybody, just, just sit there and check it all in.